Hi, uh, I'm Tom Hooten. I am the instructor for Stars and Galaxies and for Solar System Astronomy. And the purpose of this video is to introduce you to the course so that you can see how, uh, how the course is going to be run inside of uh, Canvas. And I'm going to share my screen here so that you can see what's going on. And this is what the course looks like when you first log in. As you can see here, there are weekly modules. You see that says week 01 module right there. If I close that, there's a week 02 module, there's a week 03 module and so forth. Going back up here to the top, um, all of those modules may not be open to you currently in your course because your course uh, may be a different one than what this is. Uh, but the courses look the same whether or not you're taking solar system astronomy or stars and galaxies. They're all broken down by week. And if you'll look inside of each module, what you'll see is uh, kind of the same thing. Now, the exception to that is the week one module. The week one module has some preamble stuff up here at the front. And what you're actually looking at, you're looking at the instructor view here, but uh, the student view is going to be very similar to what uh, you're seeing right here. You may not see all of this stuff. But after the preamble stuff in the week one module, then you get uh, into the assignment message. And then you see underneath that, there are the discussions. Underneath that, there are the quizzes. Underneath that, there are lab assignments and materials. And that same structure is in each each weekly module. So here for week two, we have the assignment message, then the discussions, then the quizzes, then lab assignments and materials. So the same general structure will repeat throughout each of the modules. Now, the key to understanding what to do each week is right here in the assignment message. Now, this video is going to be used as an introduction for multiple classes. I told you solar system astronomy and uh, stars and galaxies, but it's also each, each of those classes is uh, taught with a different format. For example, we have like a 16 week version of each of those. We have an eight week version of each of those. And during the summer, we have a five week version of each of those. But nevertheless, the structure is the same and the key to understanding each one of them is the assignment message. So what you should do each at the beginning of each week is you should open the assignment message. That's a PDF file. Look at it and it contains instructions step by step for the lecture, what you need to do to accomplish the assignments, step by step for the lab, what you need to do there to accomplish the assignments. So everything you need to know, all of the instructions for the entire week are contained in each assignment message. So the assignment message is the key to understanding all of the other things for the week. Okay, now I'm going to scroll down here. Uh, what you're looking at is specifically for like a 16 week class. And all of these modules may not be open yet for your specific class. But for the 16 week class, you'll see here it says week eight midterm exam. Well, the midterm is in week eight during the 16 week class, but for the eight week class, it's probably going to be around week uh, four. And for the five week class, it's probably going to be at the end of week two. Uh, so it, it appears at a different spot, but there will still be a midterm exam. Those are the two major exams of the class. You might as well call them the midterm and the final exam. Both of those exams are comprehensive. Both of those exams will be very much like the weekly quizzes, which I showed you previously, uh, chapter quizzes. Uh, they will contain multiple choice, uh, multiple answer, uh, maybe fill in the blank kinds of questions, but it'll be over the material that has that you've already covered throughout uh, throughout the semester. So this midterm exam that you see right here, uh, that's not a proctored exam, but it is a timed exam, and you will have uh, a limited time to complete the exam once you start it. So don't click on it until you're ready to start the exam. And the exam itself will be presented one question at a time. And once you answer a question and go forward, then you will not be able to back up and uh, retake any of the questions. So be sure that you get the right answer the, right, the first time. Okay, uh, there's the midterm. And then at the end of this, there would be a, a final exam down there as well. 
So how do you get started in the class? Well, uh, what you need to do is go back up here to the top, uh, read the preamble information like the welcome, and uh, certainly you need to read the syllabus, technical information, online orientation. Um, then after you've read all of that information, then jump right in to the assignment message. Once you get to the assignment message, then you are in the meat of the class and uh, things will progress from there once you get there. The class itself is uh, probably not as hard as a lot of people uh, think it is. Uh, it is, uh, but it does require some commitment, some dedication. It re requires a time commitment. And the reason for that, if you think about it, is that this is an online lab science class taught at a college level, which means that if you were doing this in a face-to-face -face class, you would spend two and a half hours every week in the lecture, actually listening to somebody talk. Then you would spend another two and a half hours every week inside a lab completing some lab activities. So there's uh, five hours per week minimum that you should expect to devote to this class. Uh, because that would equal then the amount of time in a face-to-face -face class. Uh, now, add to that extra time like uh, for studying, or you're going to be sitting in front of your computer by yourself and you're not working with a group of peers during a lab, so you may want to add some time uh, because you're lacking that peer learning. You may want to add some time uh, because of distractions. So the bottom line is the time commitment required for this class is a minimum of five possibly up to 10 hours uh, every week, depending upon you. I would say uh, expect a minimum of five hours every week. So uh, that's the, the uh, introduction to the class. You can kind of see how it's uh, gonna go from here. Uh, you should be able to go ahead and get started. Uh, hard work pays off in this class, so I encourage you to uh, go ahead and dive right in. Welcome to class.